Well, bless the morning, friends and folks. <clears throat> Let's dive right into this message. <clears throat> this is called Bound by Debt. It is January 31st, so doing a little dedication here. The rich rule over the poor, and the, borrow, the borrower is servant to the lender. Proverbs 22 and 7. Are we, are we as willing to go into debt for the work of God as we are for vacation to Hawaii? It's a quote by someone named Erwin Lutzer. So what we got up here in Word. Ooh, it's getting hot in here. A recent survey indicated that the bulk of debt in the United States is credit card debt. There is one of many signs that modern societies, particularly in the Western Hemisphere, are driven to acquire at all costs. We accumulate the stuff of our material world at alarming rates. One of the prevailing shortfalls of our generation is that we are always spending more than we earn. We are called consumers because we consume a lot. <clears throat> Biblical wisdom orders us to be extremely careful with our indebtedness. Why? Because the borrower, the borrower is servant to the lender. We are held captive or at least restrained by the debts we are obligated to pay. When these debts mount, we are limited in our choices. If God tells us to pick up and move somewhere else, we may not be in a position to do so. If he tells us to embark on a different career path, we may not have the resources. We put ourselves in a position to limit his work in our lives. We are bound by the laws of our governments and by the morals of our faith to pay what we promised to pay. God would... <clears throat> would have us to do that faithfully and zealously, but he would prefer that we never find ourselves in such a limited position. When we do, we may have made some inaccurate assumptions. We have assumed that tomorrow's income will be at least as high as today's, if not higher. We've tried to lock God into his bounty as though it were our right to receive rather than his right to give. We assume too much about tomorrow. Indeed. The Bible doesn't absolutely forbid indebtedness. Each believer must determine as a matter of conscience and of the spirit who works within us which debts are scripturally sound and which ones are not. But we are given strong warnings. God wants his people to be free from the world and bound only to him. He, we must be careful. We should serve others because we are called by his name, not because we are obligated by our frequent signatures. Hmm. When I think of this, I think of how Laban had to work for his evil father-in-law who, who lulled him into having to do what he did because he had love for the one that he wanted to be with, he couldn't be with. So he got stuck with the sister that he didn't want to be with until he finally did what he did. And I believe he earned his way to that wife. I'm not sure on that one. I haven't read that one in a while, but it makes me think of Laban. Bound by debt. I'm thankful that the Lord raised me up from debt, the debt of sin. I, I'm thankful that I have no debts presently. Um, I'm thankful that he's raised me up past that because there's no greater love than to give one's life for one's friends. And he paid our sin debt. I'm talking about none other than Jesus Christ and Dr. Lakosha. When you're under his way higher than always, you, you will have the sense to manage your material things. Not that you... You worship the material things, but when you worship the Most High God, and I was telling my girls yesterday in a different kind of study, that He's going to give you things. I never had a roof over my head like this. I never had a job like this. <laughs> I never had a girlfriend that lasted as long as Annie did, and Annie, she went past that. She ended up being my wife. Oh, I love her, and I miss her. I keep her there, so i still can share my love with her i still talk to her even though that may seem sound to seem crazy i don't care she's still my wife ain't gonna be no others and the lord paid to send debt for her to go home and i'm very thankful that she went home no more sickness sorrow for us still we're still in mourning and it'll be like that for the rest of our lives i feel the girls and i and my mother-in-law and her sister she was a very special person, but the thing was, was she gave her debt to the Lord. When you give your debt to someone, they pay it all, or they pay nothing at all. When you give it to the Lord, it's paid. And on down the golden path, past the eastern gate in the kingdom of heaven, the, the path has been made. But you got to make that choice. Listen and obey his voice. Be like, well, hey, how wouldn't it now? Magpie Feather Woman, my wife, Annie Bear Shield Hunter.
<laughs> she made it. That's the wisdom for the morning, y'all.